sledgehammer and charges. Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel BT and for today what I have in here it is Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered. So this game was developed by Evolution and Kaiko, I'm not really sure if Kaiko were the responsibles behind this remaster or not, so I'm not really sure who the hell was responsible for this remaster, but this game was released a long time ago and they now decided to remaster the game including better laws, better shadows, uh, better draw distance, better textures overall, and the good news is that the game runs pretty fine on our NVIDIA GT 740M, which is very equivalent to a GT 920M and a GT 825M. I was able to play this game with TI settings with a frame rate above 35 frames per second on the intro sequence of the game, even including massive amount of destruction. The game was always playable above 30 frames per second and having a great average of 49 frames per second. This is incredible. If you decide to go to the max maximum settings, you still get an average of 30, although you can start to notice big drops in performance, so I don't really recommend you to go with the maximum settings, there is no big return in quality, but if you, if you decide to go with the high settings, median settings, I think those two settings offer offers great graphics quality and also great performance on our laptop graphic card. The low settings, it is a very potato, I don't really recommend it, so I don't think that frame rate is really necessary for playing well the game and you don't even get a stable 60 frames per second even using the low settings. So I don't think that the low settings are worth it, you lose shadows, particles and a lot of stuff from the game. So I think that whatever if you go with the high settings or median settings, I think both of them are what I do recommend as a settings to play up this game, okay? So what about the game? What's so special about this game to have a remaster? So one of the things that made Red Faction um, something famous, and I'm honest with you, I never played Red Faction before. And I never played that much, I just played for the benchmark, so I just played a little bit of the beginning of the game. But one of the things that I already knew about Red Faction, and I can confirm it officially in here, is that Red Faction, for me right now, for all the games that I played before or in my entire life, is possibly the game with the better distraction system I ever seen in my entire life. Everything is destructible, it's destructible in this game. You can destroy buildings, bridges, towers, every stuff that it is available on this game. Any building, any car, any bridge, you can destroy everything. If you destroy a bridge that you need to cross, that's your problem, man. If you destroy that bridge and you can no longer cross for the other side, that's entirely your problem. You shouldn't add destruct that bridge. Okay, so everything is completely destructible in this game. I think this is completely amazing. It's something that um, not many games have the courage to do this, to be honest. This is probably the only game that doesn't have a fray to let you destroy everything available. And the way it destroys it is simply amazing. Look at this. I just tore, tore down an entire building. This is completely amazing. Even today in 2018, this destruction is possibly the best I ever seen. And the graphics, despite it's not completely updated, this remaster really revamped some stuff that was needed, like textures, that is ambient occlusion, despite it's disabled. Uh, it's only available on the very high settings, which I'm not using in here, and uh, personally, like I said, I prefer you to choose median or high settings, because it's much more playable. But there are some inclusions for people with better PCs, like ambient occlusion, like god rays, and um, these textures that you are seeing over here are overalls comparing to the main game. There is also better what what um, draw distance, I already explained that to you. So there are some nice improvements, and the best of all, it's a price. You can get this game on Steam for 20 bucks. I, this is pretty much a normal price uh, for a, a remastered game nowadays. If you had the original game on Steam, go check your Steam account because you receive this remaster for free. Every owner that adds Red Faction Guerrilla before have now this remaster for free. You should find it in your account, so go check it out. Okay. But if you don't have the game, 20 bucks, I think it's a nice price for the game, but that is a surprise. If you want to buy $5 for this game, 
it is possible. The game it's available on Kingwin for five dollars is 75% less priced than on Steam. I think it's pretty good. I left you a link on the description for both Steam and Kingwin shops. But yeah, five bucks on Kingwin. This is completely amazing. I think it's just, it's just I don't know. It's just two or three coffees or four in your country. I don't know. Maybe five uh, coffees that you spend in trade for a, a game like this. I think it's it's a very nice price, five bucks for this remaster. I think you should really consider it if you never played the Red Faction Guerrilla before and the performance is, like I said, simply amazing with the eye settings. This is something that I don't see every day in this graphic card anymore, okay? So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Red Faction Guerrilla. Hope you did enjoy the video. Any question about it, just leave on the comment section below like the usual. And goodbye guys, and I do hope to see you soon. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. Goodbye.